Welcome back to my channel OJ Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a strategy you can use to go on to creating consistent characters with a very cool platform called Leonardo AI. Now these are for people that are actually interested in creating animated content right there and they are finding it difficult creating consistent characters for their animations right here. So I'm going to walk you through how you could do just that with the help of this AI tool. If you're new to my channel OJ Marketing, I actually create videos on ways you could make money online either with CPA marketing, affiliate marketing and also the use of AI tools. If you like such content support from my channel, there are a lot of videos that could help you out right there. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel right now and your notification bell is always turned on all to get alerted whenever I do release videos that could help boost your income online. So with that being said, let's dive right into the video of today. So if you do come onto this platform called leonardo.ai, this is an amazing platform that you could use to go into creating amazing and stunning images right there just by utilizing a simple text prompt. You want to just simply create an account and you can see right here it is quite free. You don't need any credit card to go into sign up for an account right here on this platform. Once you do sign up for an account and log into your account, you should be brought to a page that will look similar to this. And you can see a lot of cool content that was generated right here by the help of this AI tool. All these images were generated with the help of this AI just by giving the AI a simple prompt right now. If you do select any of this particular image, you can see right here that this was the style that was used in generating the image right here, which is anime style. You can see the prompts that was used, that is the text prompt that was used to generate the image. And also the negative prompt that was also used right here to ensure that they don't actually do see any of these negative prompts in the image right there. So you can actually do see how cool this AI tool actually is. For you to go into generating images right here, if I go into showing you my personal image feed, you can actually do see right here that I was able to create consistent characters right now. You can see right here that these two characters are actually the same with this right here. But you can see right here that they are having different backgrounds right now. Take a look at this character right here. It's actually the same character right now in different locations right there. You can actually take note of that using that in the background right now. And supposing guys you want to just simply go on to creating a consistent character maybe you've actually created an initial image before of the character right now and you want to just simply utilize that to create other kinds of characters i'm just going to go come on to this section right here maybe i want to utilize this image i'm just going to click on the image right now and i'm just going to go on to clicking on this image to image right here if i just select that right now guys you'll be able to see right here that this will be the image that will be used as a guidance for creating the next set of images and i can actually come right here and go on to increasing the strength of the image that is actually going to go on to showing you how um strict that this image will direct the color pattern the overall entire look of the view of the image that will be generated and also guide your image generation right here as you can see you do get 150 tokens to go into generating content each and every single day and I'm actually generating two images per prompt right now. And you can see right here, it's actually using two tokens right there. You could also go into editing the image dimensions and you can actually go into making these dimensions quite cooler right now. I actually selected the landscape right now. And um, if I want to just simply convert this to kind of like an animation style, I'm just going to select the 3D animation right here. And once the 3D animation has been selected as my fine tune model, I can then just simply click on generate and you just want to just simply go into your generation history you can see the image generation is actually in progress and you'll be able to see how cool the images that will be generated actually look like as you can see right here these are actually kind of similar and the same character right now so supposing i want to just simply go back right there and i want to just simply utilize a different um image right there as my guide maybe i want to utilize this image right here as my guide i'm just going to select the image right now I'm going to click on image to image right here and maybe I want to convert this to kind of like a 3D character. I'm just going to increase or reduce the strength right here to my preference. Click on generate right now. You can see the image generation is actually in progress and you'll be able to see the kind of images that were actually generated right here in a 3D style from that first image. You can see the image right here that was generated right here is having like a similar character right now. All you need to do right now is to make sure that this text prompt right here is actually the same the initial text prompt you actually use for the 
generating that character is kind of the same right there then you could just simply go on to making sure that you add much more other prompt right now maybe you can actually put something like um walking walking in a forest and if i do put something like walking in a forest for the negative prompt which is something i don't want to see in the video i don't want to see only the face only right now so i want to just simply see the full body of the particular um picture right now which is why i'm going to turn on this right here type in a text like face only i'm going to click in on generate right now as you can see right here a new image set will actually be generated and you'll be able to see how different the image uh, generated is kind of from the previous one right now you can see right here that it's actually looking like a similar the same character right now but this background right here is actually looking like the forest right now so i can actually do go on to playing around this negative prompt right here maybe i want to just simply put in something like no I want to just simply make sure I get the entire image right there, like from the head to toe of the character. That's why I'm actually playing around this um, negative prompt section. So take a look at this right here. It's kind of giving, giving me similar kind of images right there. So what you need to do right now is to actually go on to reducing the strength because the more the strength, the more it will look like the guidance image right now. If I reduce the strength to 0.1 and I go on to insert into the same prompt right here, you'll be able to see that the difference in the image will kind of be clear right now. You'll be able to see how cool the difference actually is. Right now, you can see right now that it's actually giving me a different kind of image right here. Maybe the similar character, but I can actually manipulate it quite better. Because if I do increase that strength right there, it must actually, the higher the strength is, it higher or the much more likely is going to be like the guidance image right there so the lower the strength the easier it is for me to go on to manipulating the image as you can see right now this is a very cool character that i actually said a uh, beautiful tattered hair girl is the most beautiful on the planet standing on the bucket in a band with a good figure so i can actually do go on to changing this right here to something like walking on the street on a native in in a native of a native town right here and if you do go on to put in that right here as you can see you can easily just simply go on to manipulating that particular um, image right there quite better. And you can actually do see right now that this is how it's actually going to go on to looking like right here. And you can see how cool the image goes on to looking like. So the more you actually do go on to playing around this prompt, the more kind of um, images you actually be getting right here. Okay, I think I need to remove this section right here. We see it in a band. I'm just going to click on generate right now. And you'll be able to see how cool the image is going to go on to looking like quite different from the initial one but you can see right here that it's actually the same character right here that's actually being generated you can just simply take a look at the face right now actually the same character right now but different locations right here so you can actually do see how easy it is to go on to generating as um the same character right now utilizing this leonardo ai just simply going to play around this right here and make sure guys if you want more flexibility in just simply changing how you want the image to be you want to just simply make sure that the strength of the image is actually reduced right there to the barest minimum because if you do want to take in that to the highest right here which is 0 0.9 and you do want to click in on generate you will find out that it's actually going to be like that initial image which i am actually using as a guide right there it's going to just be a close-up shot right now you can see right here that it looks so much like the initial image which i'm using like a guide right now so you just want to make sure you do go on to play around the strength right here reduce the strength to the barest minimum and manipulate the text prompt based on your preference right there but make sure guys that the initial text prompt which was also in the guidance image is always in that particular um prompt that you're actually utilizing and then just simply add other things that you want to just simply go on to add into that prompt to make it quite different right there and that will be a very cool strategy to go on to making consistent characters with the help of this platform so if the video did add some value why not just simply hit the like button to the video make sure you're subscribed to my channel oj marketing and your notification bell is always turned on all that's it for now i do hope this was helpful thank you all for watching and goodbye